Hey everyone, it's Jesse Minty from the Veda Institute in Victoria, BC. I've asked a bunch of people to comment in the box below on previous videos of mine. So this time, I'm coming back at you with a Ryan Gosling inspired hairstyle from the movie Drive. I was also asked to use a similar hair type as I've shown you how to do on Asian hair and really thick wiry hair. For those videos, here they are. Take note that the fade starts quite low. I'm almost scooping the hair with the comb. A few guys have also asked me to show me the basics in scissor over comb. A few things to take note on. The scissors are parallel or right to the spine of the comb. I only do it the other way because my arm would get in the way and you wouldn't be able to see what I was doing. I'm also using the fine teeth around the perimeter to create a fade. Please continue to comment below and I'll get right on it. The fade goes all the way back to the occipital bone. I'm using that as a guideline. Remember to tuck the ear out of the way, you don't want to cut it. The differences between the three of Ryan Gosling's hairstyles are as follows. In Drive, it's a low fade to the back of the head or the occipital bone. In Crazy Stupid Love, it's a tighter fade to the recession area. And in Gangster Squad, it's a bit longer hairstyle. It's one finger's length on the sides, which allows for a bit more length on top. Rather than doing all of the videos on the same dude, I made it made sense to do it on a lot of different hair types to show guys from all over the world that they can do it too.
Now on the sides to connect from the bottom to the top. I'm keeping everything tight then fading the tops to the sides to create a seamless look. If you're curious, yes, you can do the same thing with clippers. I just have a lot of guests who want a specific style and find it grows out better. Yes, you get what you pay for. Now on top, everything is cut bluntly and square. This keeps the prim and proper shape through the front hairline. I'm also over directing slightly towards the front to allow for a bit more length around the front hairline. Now for the styling portion, I'm using Aveda's Pure Abundance Style Prep for a detailed description on this product and others, check out this video here. Remember the direction of airflow is key. Also you'll notice I'm using a comb. I prefer to use a comb rather than a brush because I find it gives a better effect. Every guy should own a comb. Now I'm using Aveda Styling Gel to mimic the exact look in the movie. Soft shine, but hold in texture. Take note, when you have pieces sticking up, tension is key. For more videos like this and da daily hair care, please subscribe to my channel and check out my other social media platforms. Also keep commenting below.